let's take one more problem this is problem number three on ratios okay where basically what you have is you have square roots involved so you are given if root 2 is to 1 plus root 3 and then you have this sign do you understand the meaning of the sign the sign means basically proportional to right so what this means is that if there are let's say four numbers a b c d then what this means is that if a is proportional to b in a particular manner right same way c is proportional to d or in other words a upon b is equal to c upon d when simplified both a upon b and c upon d are going to give the same fraction so when you have square roots involving this again as long as you understand this this is pretty simple so you have square root of 2 is to 1 plus root 3 is equal to root 6 upon x and you are told what is the value of x you have to find out this particular value so what do we do nothing we just do a simple cross multiplication right so you get root 2 times x is equal to root 6 times 1 plus root 3 if you just take root 2 to the other side you can write it down as x is equal to square root 2 now root 6 can be written as root 3 into root 2 into 1 plus root 3 the reason I wrote root 6 as root 3 and root 2 is I can just simply cancel these two out right and then I multiply root 3 with this root 3 times 1 gives me root 3 plus root 3 into root 3 gives you what it's 3 and this is your answer so where, which one is the answer that I have it's question or actually option D right it's pretty simple okay the only thing you need to understand is how do you write this the same question can also come in as if root 2 is to 1 plus root 3 what root 6 is to x find x now if you notice this effectively what this means is the same as what you have in this question what does this mean if root 2 is to 1 plus root 3 if root 2 is to 1 plus root 3 this means if the proportion of root 2 to 1 is to 3 is equal to the proportion which root 6 bears to x find x so this is another way of just writing the simple simple thing the solution obviously is the same right so this is another way in which this question can be written of course the answer is the same